Why? <laughs> Who's that? Event. <laughs> what a what? show. What? Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. Y yeah, I, I guess so. What are you doing here, Venturine? Again? Uh, I'm confused. Uh, aren't we in the true dreamscape? So, wait. Did Sparkle tell you about the fact that we were entering the true dreamscape, or...? I don't know. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. Well, you won't say. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. No. You, you <laughs> really? So, this was all during of Black Swan? She wanted the she wanted Atron and Sam to fight. Oh. I mean, it worked, I suppose. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction huh. is complete. I knew it's, I knew this was too good to be true. Black Swan. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, what happened? Uh-huh. You two are in this together? <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Yeah? Let me explain. Alright. Let... I, I will uh, stay quiet until your explanation is complete, Aventrine. I need to know things now. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. Okay. Tell me more. From that Galaxy Ranger. Uh-huh. So, Acheron. Galaxy Ranger. So, which is not a real Galaxy Ranger? Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. Okay. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? Uh, yeah, I think she did. She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, Atreon is an emanator? Wait, wait, when you say emanator, you mean like, uh... Like, destruction? on the destruction I don't I don't even remember his name D it's been yeah I don't know it's been a long time I suppose um, yeah Atron has her peculiarities but an animator who's impossible why should I believe you no way Atron was right there at the scene it couldn't have been her Yeah, I mean... But? Oh, there's no but. This is the truth. Okay. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Uh, I mean, yeah. I fought him before. Yep, I do remember. Nicely done. As expected, I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. Okay. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. Wait, wait. let me uh, let me s see that again. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, 
and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion. Ah, and Nanook. Nanook That's right. their savior. <laughs> In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. Yeah, so I remember there was some, uh, well, teaser, I mean, on on Twitter or X, whatever you want, uh, about the Annihilation gang and the fact that uh, the Duke, uh, Duke Inferno and his gang uh, wanted to, wanted the nudge to, well, put his gaze upon them. But <laughs> the nudge wasn't even, even, well, didn't even want to put his gaze upon them, so, yeah. The Everflame Mansion. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? Yeah. <laughs> They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. I mean, when you think of it, Sam um, did put uh, the the battle stage uh, in flames. I mean, he he did set it ablaze, so uh, it was quite uh, hot and scorching there. But uh, you know. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Hmm. Why won't they be able to attend? Is it because Acheron was there? Because Ifrit is dead. Wait, wait, wait. Ifrit is dead? How? When? Why? <laughs> so many questions. As I expected, what happened? They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait. So, they, the, the members of the Everflame Mansion, went their separate ways after such an amount of teasing was made uh, about them uh, on X? Oh, that's crazy, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, so swiped the invite that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. Okay. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panicone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? Alright, so if I get it straight, Atron killed Ifrit? Swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang received and take it for herself. And with that, now on Panacone, we have a mysterious Galaxy Ranger uh, checked into the hotel with only a music box. <sighs> what do you think? What do you think? Uh, is, am, I, am, I, am I going to say it was Atron from the dead girl? It doesn't rule out others. Do you have any other evidence? Is 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 Atron the only jazz ranger that came to Pinatoni? Uh, do you have any other evidence? Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. 
If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. Well, sure. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Penicone. <laughs> okay. I need your help, so I'll wait. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Okay. So, uh... Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon. Uh, can I really believe a venturing? Yeah. But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. Right. So, um... From that, well, that was a crazy chat scene, uh, first and foremost, between, uh, you know, Acheron and uh, Sam. And, uh, well, Aventurin now being in the picture, with Black Swan actually making a deal with, um, uh, with Aventurin, which led me to Aventurin. Okay. That's interesting, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I still, I'm still baffled by the way that, uh, that, yeah, there was so much teasing around the Everflame Mansion and Duke Inferno and all of the other members there, and uh, yeah, the fact that apparently, Mr. Galaxy Ranger, offed, I suppose, or chilled. Ifrit, so Duke Inferno, and all the other members of the, the Everflame Mansions went their own way. They dismembered. I mean, dismembered, yeah. Yeah, but went their separate ways. So, um. It's hard to believe, to be honest. And Acheron. I don't know. She's an emanator, he said. But, like uh, the, 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 my trailblazer said. Which Eon, though? Oh, yeah, whose? That's a question that remains to be answered, I suppose. Until further notice. So many questions. Let's see. What was their achievement here? Old friends, new friends. Embrace the warmth in the ocean of memories. Fight Stellaron Hunter Sam. I did was uh, fierce. Let's just say that. At least Pella, Pella is back now, so that's great. Alright, let's one. My, my. You look like a small injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. You betrayed me? I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. But... This is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. Okay. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential, and that's not a lie. Mm hmm. Okay. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. Right. Uh, can I trust Venturine, though? My take on this might surprise you. Okay. Let's hear it. 
In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. Right. But always be on guard, particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. Okay, so that reminds me of Liwei in Genshin Impact. A nation of contracts with a uh, Geo Daddy. Daddy Zhang, to be precise. <laughs> uh, who do you think this is the mastermind? I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. Oh, yeah. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. Well, she definitely is hiding something, but I don't know what yet, so... No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. Hmm. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Yeah, the dance. Are you willing to bring me out of this memory zone? Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused. And... sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles in water. Disappearing in an instant. Don't remind me of that. This is so, this is already difficult to deal with. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. The truth. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices, it is the right choice. How would I know you're not trying to frame me? Perhaps he plans on doing so, but I won't. The Garden of Recollection has eyes everywhere. If he wants to hurt you, he'll have to fight against the Memo Keepers. I've warned him about that. Later, I'll stay by your side as a memetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Alright, I guess. <laughs> Who done it? Find a Venturine. This is already crazy, as it is. I'm sure it's going to be even crazier as time goes Go on. and meet a Venturine, or... I could still choose not to help. Yeah. But... I kinda want the truth now. Whatever that is. <laughs> I'm run past him. Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper... <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends... Don't let me down. Please, this way, if you will. Alright. 
<laughs> oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? The last time we met was right here. Yeah. This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. <sighs> Into the room. Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. Robin? What? No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? <laughs> no, this is not good. You're the pride of the family. And don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. Unnecessary emotions? I... no. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry. I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended oh. upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. So death isn't... wait. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. <laughs> How detestable. Okay. Okay. I can't believe this has happened. Was someone killed again? What do you mean, again? <laughs> yes. There were two. One was a stowaway, a uh, the other. The other. Was you. Wait, wait, wait. Death? Killed? Robin? Inside a true dreamscape? have to stop that thing he's he has some yes he, he has a body count at this point that's enough fool your deeds have saddened me okay sparkle pretty sharp aren't you chicken winged boy chicken winged boy <laughs> Odes of harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Well. Oh, come on, lighten up. 
Why so serious with all the quotations and references? This portrait design is so unique and warm. But uh, I know that her personality might be, uh, well, mischievous. Mischievous, yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. <laughs> How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> oh, Spock. <laughs> There's no need. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. The heathen will realize they're but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. <laughs> and I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally, Watchmaker. It's good news, Shinerol. Sound of Fury. Chat among pigeons, the devil in the velvet. Destiny spreads for woven. Firefly. Destiny, destiny allows toes the masses onward without reason. And she lurks within the darkness, waiting to inscribe the most crucial of instants. Sorting, matching, shuffling, drawing. She simulates fate's hand in how it manipulates soul variables for the masses, seeking the trajectory of truth beneath the visage of a disorderly exterior. Finally, when all the characters are in their place, she brushes over the child faces, other antithesis. And assembles the unfathomable fathomable truth. Still missing a card, so I'll add one in. Increases the wearer's effect res by 12%. For every 100 of defense the wearer has, increases the wearer's damage dealt by 0.8% up to a maximum damage increase of 32%. It's for preservation path. And nevermore. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. Legend stuff one heart from preach. 